Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import hardware ID um, and then, I'm sorry, how to export hardware ID and then import it to Intune. So there's three command lines you need to run to import hardware ID. So here I have a VM. So what I need to do is I'm going to run the PowerShell script. Let's tap in PowerShell, right click, and go to run as administrator. Go ahead and confirm. So here is the PowerShell. So the first command line is going to be going to type in install dash script space dash name space get dash windows auto so you can tap it's automatically filled in for you if you tap So auto pilot, oops. Let's try again, auto, A-U-T-O, pilot, info. So, install dash script dash name space get windows autopilot info hit enter confirm type in yes Type in yes again. Need to type in yes again. This is the manual way to import hardware ID. All right, so that's the first command line. The second command line, you want to run set execution policy space dash execution policy. space unrestricted so it is set dash execution policy dash execution policy space unrestricted hit enter confirm yes the third command line um, you're going to generate the csv file so it's get dash Windows Auto Pilot Info Dash PS One. I'm sorry, dot PS One Dash Space Dash Output File. I'm going to put it on C. I'm going to call this autopilot. Um, it's going to be auto. You can call the file whatever you want. Auto. If you if you want to put in a folder, you're going to have to create a folder first. Let's call it autopilot one dot 
CSV, hit enter. Let's take a look at the C drive. I should find, oops, the CSV file. Here is the CSV file. So I'm going to import this file to Intune. I'm going to copy this. Just going to put it here, temp, paste. So to import the CSV file, what you have to do is go into your device management.microsoft.com, go to all devices, go to Windows, click on Windows Enrollment, go under Windows Autopilot Deployment Programs, click on Device. As you can see, there's no device. I never import a device before. I'm going to click on import. I'm going to browse to the CSV file, which is located in my C drive. Temp CSV. Rows formatted correct correctly, so just click on import. The process can take up to 15 minutes. I don't recommend that you run the autopilot right away. Wait at least 15 minutes. Let me refresh. Oh, it looks like the, um, the device ID is not there yet. So while we're waiting for that one, I'm going to reset my machine so I can run the autopilot. Let's reset this machine by going to click on start, reset, all settings, and then go to Windows updates or update securities. Click on recovery. Click on get started. Remove everything so it's going to be fresh install. Click on next. So there's a few ways you can reset your device. You can do it from here or you can use the uh, USB boot drive to um, reset your windows so while it's doing that I'm going to uh, pause the video and we'll come back all right so let's click on reset let's go back here to check to see if the drive the hardware device already imported It's not here yet. All right, let's go back here to device. All right, here it is. Here's is my device. Now I'm going to reboot my test device. Let's start. So while my test device is being restarted, I'm going to show you here, if I click on this, um, the device that I just imported, as you can see here, it says assign. That means it is assigned to the correct profiles, which is autopilot uh, profiles. So it has to show assign first before you can uh, run the autopilot process. US keyboard click US 
second uh, the second keyboard layout. I'm going to skip this one. So as you can see here, um, if you don't see your company's uh, logo, that means your autopilot um, device import is not working correctly. So I'm going to log in. Uh, let's use Atom at 03652.com. Next. So it's going to take me through the autopilot process. All right, as you can see, the the um, autopilot process is being set up. So it's going to take at least about 30 minutes to complete. So that's the process to import computer hardware to Intune. So again, I just want to show you here. These are the three steps that you need to follow. This is the manual way. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.